Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video we're going to talk about Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Youth. We'll take a look at the trailer uh, and then obviously get a pretty cool idea as to how good he's going to be. So let's just watch the trailer. It's over. What? Please protect the plants, the animals. Protect this world I loved. Obviously, uh, Gohan looks pretty cool. Uh, as everyone should know, Gohan, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, probably one of the most hype moments in the game, uh, I think in general, or in the show, I should say, not so much in the game. Uh, it's obviously a hype in the game, but it's hype in the show. And Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, I think the last time we had an, a Gohan, like a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan with the red uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, and he was super dominant, so I think a lot of people are going to be expecting him to at least be very good. Uh, obviously, it's going to depend, I guess, a little bit on um, you know people's perceptions of how good characters are nowadays. He's got a lot of interesting gimmicks, so we'll take a look. Uh, but basically, obviously, the big thing is his unique gauge counter that he seems to have, so you can consume his unique gauge, activate the counter. Uh, against enemy strike arts or forward charging or other special move and special arts um, when it counter activates it will destroy all your enemies cards giving you time to prepare your strategy uh, special move arts can also activate a counter uh, so you experience the acceleration of perfectly timed counter against your enemies art attack so a counter that destroys all the enemies cards does seem pretty powerful it does seem really really strong obviously you know being able to counter forward charging moves seems pretty good. It does put the opponent on the back foot. It's a lot like MUI Goku, where like now you you know you have to throw out basically key follow ups. You can't really throw out like um, charge forward abilities, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, it makes it a little bit more of a passive, hesitant gameplay, which is you know one of those things. Uh, strength number two, incredible staying power, plus amazing offensive abilities when he's the last battle member standing. So. He has an endurance effect and then when there are two defeated battle members he'll nullify your enemy's endurance effects, get a boost to his arts card draw speed and more. He can also draw an ultimate arts card meaning he holds the power to turn the tables when your party's on his last leg. So obviously a nullification of endurance is pretty big but he also gains endurance and obviously much like uh, you know green Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta he can get multiple copies of his ultimate arts card which is pretty cool. He is green type so very very interesting. Uh, main ability, draw an ultimate arts card plus recover key and the ultimate gauge by a ton. Uh, it's also going to seal your enemy's rising rush and main abilities. So pretty big. Uh, being able to seal the opponent's rising rush is always something that's quite critical. But sealing their main ability is also quite intense. A lot of units draw their cards or refresh their gauges out of their main abilities nowadays. Uh, so being able to lock that is pretty intense. 30% health recovery is pretty big, unique gauge restoration of 
and 10 timer counts is quite significant as well so definitely feels really good he's a hybrid sans and son family uh, character's the ability boost with additional boost for uh, hybrid sans which i think is fine uh, i also think this means we'll probably see the zenkai for legends limited uh, trunks because that would then be another green hybrid sans zenkai to run alongside gohan which would be very interesting uh, he is uh, plus five percent special move damage and strike and blast defense so uh, definitely more defensive orientated in terms of his z boost but that's okay his ultra ability uh, obviously this is just being an ultra ability nothing too crazy uh, it is what it is strike will give plus 15 percent to damage inflicted which is really really awesome uh, blast will give plus 15 percent to damage inflicted the really cool thing with blast um Gohan possesses a uh, blast arts cards that can nullify your enemy's blast armor. So it's not every blast art card, it's like ones that inflict paralysis, but it's an introdu introduction of a new effect, basically. And um, being able to kind of stop those blast armor based moves with a key blast is quite intense, it's quite a big change up. Then we have a special moves, uh, basically uh, while in fighting pose you can counter your enemy's attacks, watch carefully for opponent's arts attacks and strike back with powerful counter. Uh, so he deals massive impact damage, applies the following effects itself upon activation, increases special move damage, minus 20% to enemy sustains ET effects. Counter will activate upon enemy's arts attacks while in fighting pose excluding certain moves. So applies the following effects itself when counter activates randomly draws one new card, Restores key by 50, cancels attribute, downgrades and in all conditions. What this means is if you use Gohan's card uh, while someone is attacking you, uh, it will activate um, if you're in the fighting pose. So if your unique cage is full, it will automatically activate, which is pretty interesting uh, overall. Then we have his green special, which is recover key, draw one card. Uh, this is a wide range of special arts that will uh, inflict substitution counts on all enemies when hit, so after landing it. Make sure to follow up with a combo. So, applies the following effects to self upon activation draw a new card, key, and increase the damage. Uh, but if you manage to hit the enemy, it will cancel their own attribute downgrade uh, and abnormal will cancel your own abnormal conditions. Uh, inflict them with three substitution time accounts and allow you to combo in. Then you've got your ultimate. Uh, the ultimate will destroy all your enemy's cards, reduce their key by 100. Uh, so, basically, it's a great time to go on the offense. Um, as they say here, which is true. If they're two defeated uh, battle members, you'll also gain nullification to unfavorable element factors, which basically means you should be able to one-shot people pretty much. And it also nullifies health restoration when reaches zero, uh, which is pretty big, obviously, of course, as well. So then we get to his unique ability, 100%, 170% boost to inflict damage, uh, strike and blast starts will nullify your enemy special action cover changes and destroy. Uh, card effects on use uh, obviously he gains more depending on as you can see here how many enemies are basically or how many allies are defeated uh, which is pretty big so you can see there you destroy one of your own cards you can get your ultimate move again uh, you can get increased to your draw card speed again you can restore your own unique gauge by 100 percent you immediately nullify all health restoration uh, reach zero effects which is pretty big then you apply the following effects to self every time you use a strike or blast art card you restore unique gauge and you nullify special activation uh, cover changes and of course you can nullify enemies destroy card effects as well so gohan's pretty big um honestly like i think for me gohan seems a little bit overwhelming actually um We'll have to see how he is in play, like a very good example is like Yellow, Trunks and Vegeta, like they were kind of universally accepted as like, wow, oh my gosh, these guys look insane, and then they turned out to be okay, like they turned out to be fine, um, which is just one of those things, I'm not saying that he's going to be bad at all, he definitely looks insane, most Ultras are, uh, but he seems ridiculous on paper, I think, you know, um, maybe won't be so ridiculous in game, but he seems ridiculous on paper. And then we have the second passive, reduces impact damage received by 40%, restores own health to 40% when reaching zero, uh, knocks enemy back to long range. If you perform a cover change against a strike arts, 
Um, if he is in one of the following states, if his own unique age is at 30% or more, he will consume the entire unique age to counter the enemy strike card and most forward abilities. Uh, slide moving or standing still, side stepping to the right or left, receiving an attack, um, pretty much. So you can see uh, very much the counter will just basically act. It's very similar to like the MUI uh, Goku kind of counter. Uh, in terms of how it functions and then the following effects also occur when counter activates restores on key cancels an attribute and shortens ally substitution counts and the following effects occur every time when you hit with an enemy's art attack while this character is on the battlefield restore own health and reduces enemy key and this will activate uh, resets only when two ally characters are defeated so that does seem a little bit more balanced uh, overall but yeah overall gohan looks pretty sick um he looks really really good we're gonna have to see how he is in game but i think he's pretty nuts um not gonna lie I'm super excited for him uh yeah i think everyone's super excited for him so yeah we'll just have to see that's gonna be it for me bye